Hello everyone, in this uh, short video I wanted to show you how to import text file to a SQLite database and it's going to be a very short video but this is what you need to do. Um, a lot of times you get data in a file format and uh, so you have a file where you like I'm going to use an example file where I have a first name, last name and email and what you need to do, you need to start your, your SQLite using SQLite 3 command then you need to change your mode to CSV once you have that this is something a lot of time people forget to do um, if you have a separator that you want to specify you specify that for us I'm going to show you uh, the comma and the space both uh, for the space when I have the separator space and just, I'm just going to say set the separator as space and then I'm just going to import the customer.txt and here is the table that I'm going to specify. I'm going to specify the same name as customers and voila, I'll have a table. To make sure I have the table ready, I'm going to run the dot tables command. If I want, I can also run the schema command and um, we can do a select star from customers just to verify that uh, everything is running. So let's do the hands on. So let's go back over here, and uh, if, we, if I do a ls, so first I'm gonna do something that's actually give me some errors, okay? So let's do, look at the file. So customers.txt, if I look at this file, and you see it's, there's, it's on, it, there's only space, okay? There's no comma, nothing like that. Okay, so hit Q. And here, let's start our SQ, light 3 command and uh, there we go we are here so what we need to do we need to make the mode so dot mode to see as this is ready for import for example let's say I forget to set the separator let's see what happens and that's what I want you to avoid so if I skip this line okay you will be doing this right import customer dot txt uh, so let's go so dot import customer does txt to customers okay and what's gonna happen it will still uh, import the database just just fine but it's not gonna be a good one so if you now look at the dot table you see that so the table is available now if you look at the schema now you see there's a problem so it, it's thinking the whole thing the first time last name email as one column as if there's only one one column in your table and that's not right so to fix the problem let's just uh, drop table customers okay so now you shouldn't have any table okay so now again uh, do the mode.csv but then this time separator do a space uh -oh, separator I'm probably doing a spell mistake C-P-A-R-A-T-O-R so yeah don't do any spell mistake C-P-A-R-A-T-O-R now once I have that I can run my import again okay and do my dot table command now I have again a new let's now look at the schema there we go so now it's it's uh, telling you this is the schema that's how the table is created first name column last name column and email and all of them are text fields okay and now you can run anything you like select star from customers and there we go you have everything so that's what I wanted to uh, tell you guys that when you are, when you have your data make sure that you're using the separator properly if, it, if you're not separating it's still going to import it but you may uh, get a, a you know result that you're not expecting by default it uses comma so only time so let's exit out of it start quit so if you have something uh, like uh, less customers comma if you some have something like this which is common for a lot of the CSV files that you get they are usually comma separated 
and that's the reason uh, if you don't even set the separator uh, command it will still import the file just fine uh, well that's all for this video I just want to give you guys an example how to import a text file into the SQLite and then start using it and run your SQL command manipulate the data and have fun again if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe for all new videos thank you very much